everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer, and I am a teen with a passion for animal rescue and, in particular, kitten rescue. So today's video is pretty much going to be a purely animal rescue focused vlog. So I have the most jam-packed day for animal rescue that I've had in a while. So I have three specific things that are happening. It's, it's like crazy. So the first thing is happening in just a few minutes. I am going TNRing with my local TNR rescue group and I am helping trap with them. So I'm going to be going. I don't know a ton about the colony right now. I think there's about four or five cats in the colony and it's an apartment complex. Yeah, that's pretty much all I know. We are going at the time that the cats are most active, according to the caretaker. So hopefully we'll have a successful trapping day. If you don't know what TNR is, I do plan to make a video solely on it sometime soon, but I'm not exactly sure when. But TNR stands for trap, neuter, return or trap, neuter, release. It's basically a setup for when you have feral cats or antisocial cats or just community cats in pretty much anywhere and they are not fixed yet. That is not good because pet overpopulation and so they would just keep reproducing and continue a cycle of suffering. So TNR is where you trap the cats in humane ways and then you take them to a vet's office, they get fixed, they get ear tipped so that rescuers then know that that cat's already been fixed and then they get returned right back to the area that they were found if it is safe to do so. And this is good because a lot of feral cats are just not able to be socialized and so that way the cats aren't to put down and they also are still happy because they are not forced into a home they do not want to be in. And then the other couple things that are happening, I am getting a kitten, I am transferring a kitten, and then I'm getting another kitten. So I have my buddy Lovebug in here and he's really cute, he's really small for his age. And his sister, Sweet Pea, she's actually getting spayed today. She's getting spayed. She's probably out of surgery by now already, but she's still at the vet's office. But he is literally half her size. And so she's just a little too rough with him sometimes. So another litter in my rescue is a couple weeks younger than him, but they are his size. Because he's super small, they are his size. So because both litters are healthy, he's going to be acclimated into that litter and he will have friends that are his own size. Just a little better for both of them. And then there's another singleton kitten that is about sweet pea size and so I will be getting her and bringing her back here to this kitten room so now sweet pea and this other kitten will have a friend that is their, their same size. I will miss love bug but I do know it is best for him to be with kittens his same size so yes that is what's going on I need to get ready to go leave for trapping and I will try and just take you on this journey. Oh and I also have a GSA meeting in between this I'm just gonna be so busy rushing around but it'll be okay because I'm excited for everything so yes let's get ready and go TNR <laughs> That looks like someone that might be friendly. Hi. Hi. He's like, what did you do to my friend? Why is my friend under there? Hi, sir. Why don't you go around to that other side? And then, you know, we, we totally won't, won't trap you. We totally won't lock you in there. That's not what we're gonna do. Totally not. But even, even if that is what we were going to do, which it's not, um, you would be back, you know, you would, you would be safe. <laughs> but that's not what we're gonna do, you know? <laughs> He's like, ooh. That's so cute. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Being very sweet. And you are covered in stuff now. Yes. <laughs> You're covered in dirt. Woohoo! We did it! Yes, I'm sorry. It's gonna be okay. 
He's like, betrayal, betrayal. We're, we're helping you though, it's okay. Yes. Yes. There we go. Here, let's get the towel on you. We got a spicy one. Four. Three here and then the one over there. Okay, everyone. Hello, hello. It's the next day. I have not filmed since yesterday when I filmed some TNR clips that I will have inserted in here. So I'm gonna just tell a little bit about what's going on. I do have some exciting rescue updates. It was just, I was so tired last night. Like I didn't get the kittens that I ended up getting to foster until like 10. So I was just so tired, but I'm gonna film now and I'm gonna show you now. And then I'm gonna edit this video later cause this video was supposed to go up today. <laughs> Look at me waiting to film until the last minute yet again. <laughs> but basically we trapped four cats yesterday. Um, which is great because there were only five or six of the colony, maybe seven, but we trapped a, a good amount of cats, so that's really good. The first cat you saw I would say is more semi-feral, the black one with maybe a little bit of white just went into the trap while we were across watching. And then there was another cat, the second cat we trapped was this big gray tomcat that you saw. He was really sweet and he did not want to go into a trap. So we really had to work hard to get him into a trap, but eventually we just lured him over to the drop trap which is a manual trap where you pull the string and then we just closed it. And we got him, so that was good. Then we pretty much got two more cats at the exact same time. What we did is we went and we were trapping in an apartment complex. So there were a lot of small apartment buildings right near each other. And then there was like a small road that really didn't have much traffic at all that separated like the two sides of the road and there were like two cat zones where the cats might be. So we set up some traps that we went back to check every few minutes to see if cats had gone in. And then we also set up some that we could actually see, like we obviously could see the drop trap and that kind of thing. And we waited and we ended up catching one big, angry, spicy, big male tomcat that was orange. And he was mad, he was really mad. <laughs> I don't know if I actually got him on video or not, but he was, he was an angry boy. But he went into the trap and then the last one was caught literally right after that. So we had set up traps in like three different areas. And then kind of towards the end of when we were there, we saw another cat in a fourth area that we did not know cats hung out there. And there was one cat. And as I was watching him, I, I spot him and then he disappears. He or she, I don't actually know. We went over there and realized that they could go under one of the apartment buildings. So we set up a trap there and that cat ended up going into it. And that cat was also very spicy. And I, I carried him in the trap. And boy, is it hard to carry those cats in those traps because when they're mad at you, they're just like rocketing back and forth trying to get out. And so it is very hard when they are big and heavy because all of those cats were big. We think most of them were relatively young. I think at least three of them were probably only about a year old, but they were very big <laughs> and they were, not fixed obviously and they are getting fixed today and someone else i'm not going to take them back unfortunately i just didn't work out but they will be taken back by different volunteers and released tomorrow and i might end up going back to trap that location again i will if they ask me if not they'll send some other volunteers to try and get the last couple cats that we couldn't get but we got all the cats we saw which was four so that was cool but yes now i got to show you the kitties hi you know sweet pea she's probably gonna be here for less than a week left because she will get adopted in no time I'm sure since it's winter and there aren't that many kittens and she's amazing <laughs> like look at this girl she's so sweet but we wanted her to have a friend because if we took her brother that means she doesn't have a friend so we got Dolly come here Dolly so this is Dolly she's really sweet she was a bottle baby she wasn't my bottle baby but she was a bottle baby super soft super sweet they're both pretty playful right now so she might bite me you playful <laughs> Hi. But yes, I've got these two big girls. Well, they're not super big. They're pretty tiny in the grand scheme of cats, but they're a lot bigger than my bottle baby in the other room, so. She and Sweet Pea aren't necessarily sure what to think of each other yet, so sometimes they still hiss at each other a little bit. They literally met yesterday. And I was going to film myself introducing them, but it was 10 p.m., so I didn't. <laughs> Sorry about that. But look at these sweethearts. Look at these sweethearts. 
I will put it on Smee for just a second, but you are not going to believe the cuteness of the kitten I'm about to show you. He is so awesome. Hi! So I have him in the incubator. Look at this boy! So he is about two weeks old. A singleton. We'll find him a friend soon. We have another friend in the rescue about his age, but that she has to get well before we can put them together. So we'll have a friend eventually. Right now he has a heartbeat stuffed animal. But this kitty, fluffy orange long hair. Fluffy and long hair mean the same thing, I know, but oh well. This boy is the purriest bottle baby I've ever had. He just purrs as soon as you touch him. And he's only two weeks old. He's pretty healthy. Um, good poops, good weight, good eating. I'm feeding him with a bottle right now. I just fed you. There's no way you're hungry yet. Hi. You're gonna you're gonna climb in my hand. Thank you. But his name is Oliver. I didn't really know what to name him. I was thinking of naming him Clover, but then I met him and I was just like, he's just not a Clover, you know? So I wasn't sure what to name him, but my mom suggested Oliver after the Disney version of Oliver and Company with the, the dogs and the orange cat. And she's like, he looks like an Oliver. And he's orange, like that Oliver. So, yeah. I didn't quite want to do it at first because I haven't actually seen that movie in forever. But it was just too perfect. And I'll watch that movie soon to refresh myself because cute Disney movie with animals, happy ending. But yes, you cute boy. You cute boy. He's such a sweetheart. Such a perfect little bean. He likes making biscuits on this fuzzy blanket. And he likes snuggling up and climbing on top of his snuggle mommy. Okay, bye bud. See you later. He'll settle down. But yes, I'll probably check in once or twice more before I wrap up the vlog. Maybe show me feeding him or something. But I do have to try and get this video up today and I haven't started editing at all. So it will be kind of a rushed experience. But that's okay because I have fun, so that's what I will be doing tonight. And if this video goes up at 9 p.m., that is why. <laughs> because I've just been so busy. Yes, I will see you guys in a bit, though. Okay, so it is the evening. I'm actually editing the video currently over there. Hopefully this will still get up tonight, like just a couple hours from now. But we'll see. Hi, Oliver. Oof. Hi, Oliver. How you doing? I'm gonna put the camera down and stimulate him with some tissue there because I need two hands, but then I'll be right back. Look at you, cutie, latching all good. <laughs> He's such a good boy. He's doing great. I would normally hold his head up, but he's okay for now. I just wanted to show him because he's just the cutest little boy ever. Pardon my kitten voice, but I will do it forever and always because the kittens deserve my voice to be ugly. Because they're so cute. This boy is so purry. I'm gonna continue feeding him and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just gonna say right now, whoever adopts this cat, and I know that's over a month off, quite a while off, at least a month and a half, but it's just like whoever adopts this cat is like one of the luckiest people ever because this cat is so sweet like his heart is comprised of only love and he's just such the sweetest boy ever <laughs> this boy but this boy is amazing and perfect and lovely and i love him i also love dolly but like I just have a, you know, I foster bottle babies because I have a special place in my heart for the tinies and this guy. I love him so much because he's awesome, but also I think because I haven't had a bottle baby in so long, like multiple months. But I just missed having bottle babies, but I love it. Mm. I love him. And let me know what other videos you want to see with his cute face. His cute face as he grows. But I do really need to finish this video up so that I can edit it and post it. Hopefully today, but maybe tomorrow. If you're seeing this on Thursday, it's because I was too busy petting kittens to upload. But yes, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more kitten-related content. I upload on Sundays and on Wednesdays if I can, and if I can't, then I upload whenever I want to. Also, please make sure to leave any thoughts or questions that you have down in the comment section below. 
just say hi to Oliver because he deserves it and he's awesome. Um, thank you so much for watching again and goodbye!